Hi guys, welcome to RRC. Um, today I'm going to be starting the first of the upgrades for the Henglong uh, Leopard 2A6. So I've already removed the screws for the body just for the sake of uh, saving a bit of time. Um, so let's just dive right in and start taking things out. Let's do this. Right, so that's the upper hole taken away. So it might be better me turning this around. So what we've got here is we've got the old gearbox which has got plastic cogs. Um, this is the radio receiver here which I've already disconnected. Um, and so I'm going to remove these and the new gearbox did not come with the bullet type connectors so I've got to take these wires off these motors and transfer them onto the new ones um, so that will take a bit of time so I'll do that off camera okay um, we'll make a start first thing I'm gonna take off is the tracks so we can um, get the actual gearbox out of out of there. So um, I'll remove these caps there. So should be able to just release, remove the rear wheels, and um, that will give us access to these screws. And the track should come off. He says. Guys, to do this you're going to need um, an allen key screwdriver I got these off eBay some time ago uh, quite handy so I'll remove the center screw Let's see if we can lift these tracks off so that came up nice and easy so we'll put these to one side. I'll we'll flip the tank over and do exactly the same. I don't really think it matters uh, whether the tracks go on the on the right side, but I'll I'll keep them in the order that they came off. So there's a another track up there and that's what it looks like on the back. Right guys, uh, so I guess we just need to uh, start on doing some screws to get these out. See how easy this one comes out. Keeping the screws in order. You may have to remove this outer um, cap here. I think I will get the actual gearbox out. You think Hang Long would have put uh, all four screws in there instead of just two? A bit cheap. Right, okay, so that's that unit off there. Let's see if we can get this one out. We may have to pull the pipe off with a smoke over in the difference. We'll go back on. There's a screw still not fully out there. So we 
may have to take this side off. Probably would have been a better idea to juggle it around, to be honest. So let me juggle it around that way. And we'll get the screws out of there. Pipe off there, get that out the way as well for the smoke. And then we'll have to remove the other side. I can't believe Hang Long did not put four screws in there to hold that little shaft hub in. That's poor Hang Long. inside. Hope you can see what I'm doing there guys. I may even have to take that. Nice. Okay guys just an update. I'll have to take the uh, smoke generator out uh, to give enough clearance. Um, and if you're ever going to do this, make sure you mark up which side um, motor you're taking off from where. In this case, I've just disconnected M1. So, um, just so you know what you're doing when you're putting it back. Okay, that's the first gearbox out um, there. I've already got the screws off for that, so this one should just lift out so I've got the screws out completely, there you go, so I'll just disconnect that wire in there, because it's got grease on it, it's a little bit slippy. Right, okay, there's the second gearbox out as you can see. So I'll get rid of the, I'll take the, the wires off this motor here and here and swap them over to the new motors. Okay, guys, this is the Tajin Premium Series Machine Steel Drive gear set that I've got for the upgrade. They come with these. Uh, plastic covers now which the as you can the old stock ones don't even the one that I fitted in the Abrams didn't come with these covers to keep the uh, keep the dirt out of any gets in there um, so right I've soldered the wires onto it put them back in a box comes with uh, some fitting instructions there so have a look at that in a minute Let's get these out of here. The covers. I think they just got magnet, magnets on them. So they come with. There's the actual gearbox there. Hope you can see that. Um, so that's the left side. And again, the one with. At the right side okay let's get this box out the way and let's see if we can get them fitted in okay um, they come with these mounting plates uh, and you see that so they fasten in the hole so let's go ahead and do that they've got a let it along there for the, the left side um, I'm assuming that's from looking at from the front of the tank um, See if I can spin that round. You can see that goes in the in the hole there. It's a bit dark. So 
and brighten this pitch up a bit. So that's that plate in there, so let's go ahead and get these screws in. Don't over tighten these guys when you put them in because they only go into plastic lugs so you don't want to be stripping the threads in them. Okay, there's that one fitted in there. Let's see that looks dark on the picture but it could just be my pad. Okay, let's get the next one. Okay guys, that's both the uh, chassis plates in for the gearboxes to fit to. Left one there. They just drop like that into place. Hopefully. They come with a bag of new screws as well, so that's pretty good. Um, Magnetism of the motors. Okay, I'll do the same for the other one. Uh, guys, on the other side, and I'll come back to you.